five years old, I told my dad that I wanted to be an actress and I wanted to be on TV and I wanted to perform. I pretty much entertained myself growing up. I mean, I was always, you know, reenacting things and pretending and dressing up. Um, the fireplace mantle was, was my stage. And I just, I just loved entertaining people. You know, on holidays, I'd always be jumping in front of the camera and everything. I was, I was very dramatic as a child. At 12 years old, I was giving um, an opportunity to work in some studios for practice, some music studios. And I worked with Blue Moon Music Studio that was in Columbus, Ohio, when I moved to Ohio when I was about um, almost 13. And I worked with them for a little bit, and I just wanted to figure out where I wanted to be in life. And I met Pat Breke, and he kind of guided me through trying to find who I was and what I wanted to do. So throughout you know, my middle school and high school years, I kind of like wanted to do things more for fun and kind of pretend a little bit and work on some things. I just kind of wanted to dip my toes into you know, the waters and test and see what publicity was like. And, you know. So, I worked with them for a little bit, and I landed Duff. I love acting, and I love music just as much. I tend to go back and forth because, you know, sometimes acting is where I'm at in life, and sometimes music is where I'm at in life. I, I started out with acting, and acting kind of was the thing that kind of gave me a big lift up into following my dreams. I currently make do without you washing me down the bus every morning through that high-powered telescope. You know, you had me so nervous the other day, I nearly got on the wrong bus. And, in short, me and Mr. Cornell and I don't want to have to tell you this to go. Leave me alone! Aside from that, what is the chance of your falling in love with you? You're crackers, you know that, don't you? Did you know that you were made of crackers? I used to act a lot when I was younger. I did a lot of plays and stuff. And when I was about 12 was when I started doing music. The thing that sparked my music was, was probably my dad. He was always playing guitar. And it really inspired me a lot. I've always wanted to learn guitar, but I never did. <laughs> I'm, I'm a singer and I play flute and piano, but I know very a little bit about guitar, but I think I'd like to pick it up eventually. Traveling is is probably one of the fun things about music. I mean, I think, you know, the dream of being a musician or an artist is to travel and to, you know, expand your talents and your message. When I started going out of state, I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> Me and, and Josh and my dad would sometimes be in the car and we'd be like, oh, hope people show up, you know, we hope people we know are there and stuff because you know, these are my fans and everything, and I don't have very many, you know, I'm not necessarily famous yet, but I would, it's not necessarily my goal is to be famous, I just want people to, to look up to me and I want to make a difference in one's life. But traveling and, and meeting new people and stuff, you don't know how many people to expect at your concerts. I was only expecting maybe, you know, 20 to 50 people. Some concerts were a good turnout and some weren't. You know, some were kind of low on, on audience members. But it's basically like going out there and, and starting over. One of the biggest keys into following my dream is confidence, definitely. I think in order for you to definitely succeed and accomplish what you need in following your dream is, is confidence. Because confidence is like something that you need because it gives you the opportunity to, to be who you want to be and to not fear of anything. I definitely work on my confidence on a daily basis because confidence, <laughs> I don't know what to say, confidence means everything. 
It's a key to being yourself and following your dreams.